The Cebu City Police Office and the Cebu City Government clarified that no stampede happened during the Arat na Cebu concert held last Saturday, March 26 at the Cebu City Sports Complex. This despite circulating videos of people pushing each other and climbing fences just to squeeze themselves into the venue to witness the performances of their favorite local and national artists. One viral video shows several policemen trying their best to block the main entrance of the sports center, but eventually stop resisting the efforts of the people who were pushing themselves inside. In fact, five policemen were injured from the incident. CCPO Deputy City Director for Operation, Police Lieutenant Colonel Wilbert Parilla stood firm on his statement that there was no stampede during the activity. But he admitted that several attendees sustained wounds and bruises during the event. Actually, dili na sa stampede. That's not a correct word na stampede. Kaya kung mayroon tayong stampede, doon nag mas casualty. No? So, kato, doon naman tinuoy ng uh, na-injured, but pipila lang, nangapangos lang kay natumba. Sa ato ng ingon, mo ito nga nagtinod lang na inyong nakita. So, mo doon ay mga natumba, so nangapangos. But if you will say stampede, mas casualty. He explained that had they not opened the gate, more people would have been injured. So daghan ang matumbas at ubangan. So that's why nga uh, atong gibalik o close para control gihapon ang pagsun. He added that they prepared more than 200 policemen to guard the vicinity of the concert aside from the members of their crowd dispersal management team. He also denied claims that health protocols were no longer followed. As according to him, Participants were required to wear their face masks even in the absence of social distancing. Gikan sa gate, naglinya ang mga polis na ito. Kutob sa audience nga musulod, nga walay face mask, ato yung ipagawa sa balik. Department of Health Central Visayas Chief Pathologist Dr. Merijan Lorache admitted that the recent concert is a cause of concern. I think that's a cause of concern. I would call it a cause of concern. Meaning to say that we are espousing kasi or, you know, advising people na open spaces dapat lahat ng venues natin for ventilation, for air circulation, you know, to freely flow. That will help mangod contain the, contain the transmission of the virus. She said they will be monitoring if cases will rise within the next two weeks because of this. It's very difficult karon to say nga dili siya makakos of packets of surges. It's very difficult right now because the event just happened most recently. There, there are so many people, there's crowding. Although ang nakita nato kadaghanan na face mask man, but there were some no, nga, who did not wear their masks properly. And we do not also know if the, uh, everybody who attended were fully vaccinated. So we'll just wait and see um, in the next uh, two weeks. She added that since huge gatherings are already difficult to avoid at present, this should be held in well-ventilated areas and that people must do their due diligence in observing proper health protocols. We cannot really prevent people from you know, converging in uh, activities like this. No? It's really now up to them. It's time for people to take full account or accountability of their actions. Well, all gatherings for that matter are potential spreader. Cebu City Councilor Joel Garganera, Deputy Chief Implementer of the Emergency Operations Center, said that all public gatherings are potential spreaders of the virus and that people should share the responsibility in protecting each other. All gatherings for that matter are potential spreader. No? The bigger the audience, the, the, the bigger no? the probability nga uh, it could be a spreader event, no? But you have factors to consider, Niana, no? First is ang area. It's an open door. Outdoor na siya. It's al fresco. Second, uh, of course, uh, ang behavior sa participants. So, if you're wearing mask, then by no means, by all means, you're, you're good, no? Third is, uh, we encourage, no? Uh, fully vaccinated uh, to, 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 to join in an event na in the company nga daghan ng mga tao. No? But then again, nowhere in the ITF na we will only allow 
those fully vaccinated. But we encourage because it will protect you and of course protect the people around you. So. Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama, on the other hand, refused to comment on the negative feedback expressed on the recent concert. No comment. This has been Theresa Mioy from my TV Cebu.